Brain training, here we go. Okay, push, 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 push. Catch and release, catch and release, catch and release, catch and release. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Push, 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 Olympics is doing his thoughts, if we go to tournaments, anything like that, anything in the karate world, Richard Sensei has a video blog. Go check it out, Richard Mosdell on YouTube. I highly suggest it, whether you're in the karate world or not. Lots of different things that you can check out there. He's not even paying me to say this. No. He doesn't even pay me to say this. No. In fact, you know, I'm just saying this on my own. So, so we're actually on the Karate 360 podcast right now. So yes. anyways, go check that out. There's a plug right there. And while you're at it, check out KaleManLoss.com. Absolutely. Kaleman and all the other uh, social media stuff. So it's funny because like I did a pod- I did a blog like a week and a half ago. But I have all this material. So if I get in a groove at like 10.30 at night, mm. sit down, and then I can just do one a day. Yeah. Hey, it's Richard Monsdell here with my karate vlog. It's been a really fantastic week. We had a huge bring a buddy day, plus pizza. And you know, it's July, and a lot of karate clubs close down, or they slow down. And sometimes, I totally understand, you know, especially if you're in a place in the world where it's really cold during the year, and summer is a time to get out. But what we found is, people finish their activities in June and want something to do for the summer. So we've always found a bit of a bump with people who really want to come try and learn karate and stay in karate. They don't want to take the summer off. I love the summer months. I love how hot you get, I love how your body sweats more, and I love how fast you heal after. When I was growing up, I always wanted to have a really big karate center that was active all the time. So one of the things I've tried to do is not just have lots of classes and lots of instructors, but also reach out into the community, teach in lots of schools, go to other day camps, go to other places and bring those people in to fill this space. So our members have lots of people to be with. So by having a bring a buddy day, it's a really awesome way to introduce all the fun that we're having because the members will teach their friends as they come in. What's really funny is I've been telling the members that, you know, world champions, especially from Japan, not only do they almost never come to Canada, they definitely never come to Victoria, yet, we have Takia Furuhashi coming here next weekend. He just arrived today in Toronto. He's going to teach out east. Next week he's coming here. And then from my great friend Arakawa Sensei, we have Takashi Katata, who is the WKF 2002 world champion for Kata, who's going to come here and teach a high performance Kata seminar in August. So I now have to kind of change the way I tell all the kids in the club that not only do they never come to Canada, they never come to Victoria, but all right, so they come to Canada, but they come to Victoria. And you know, we started this morning just after eight o'clock and it is 20 after 10 at night. It's been a full day. I love days like today. And sometimes people forget that We spend our whole day thinking about our members, trying to do stuff for them, writing uh, progress reports. I just finished like almost 200 progress reports for the members in the club. And now we're getting ready. I'm starting to clean for the next day. Sometimes people forget, or they maybe just don't know, that we try really, really hard to run a fantastic facility and to bring them, you know, not just the, the value on the floor of what we do, you know, service or attention or access. The parents and the, and the members can contact us anytime. This is what it takes to build a community. You can't do it um, if you want to be this large as a hobby. Even if your dream is this high, you have to match it with your effort. And whatever effort you put in yesterday, well, that was yesterday. It's kind of like, you know, if you went to a really good, famous university that might have helped you get you in the door. But once the work starts, it doesn't matter what university you went to. It doesn't matter, you know, who your family is. And this is uh, really true when it comes to running um, an instruction service, um, a people first service, and something that is long lasting in building a community. And I wouldn't want to do anything else.
This is Durant's Lake in Victoria, which is probably my favorite spot because what we do is in the summer is we swim the whole lake, which I think is, I think it's about a kilometer once you go there and back. All the way down one side, all the way back. Because um, we take our time, it takes us about 45 minutes or so, but it's a really great workout. Once you get over the, how cold it is, then yeah, it's just fantastic. It feels super refreshing and awesome for fitness. Come for a swim in the morning. Um, I know the high school kids party out here at night. It's great for families. Come on, come on, come on,